from 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Baylor heads to Kansas State. And it's one of those weird, off-kilter time slot games, a little strange. Baylor coming off the biggest win in program, maybe not, maybe not program history, but a massive, massive win over Oklahoma last week. Biggest win of Dave Aranda's uh, short coaching career as a head coach, anyway. And they, they end up as a road uh, dog, like they're an underdog to Kansas State. Kansas State is favored by one here, and the total is 50, which on on its face looks like it could be too many points. But but I also think that, I mean, these two teams can find a way to score on each other. I'm really curious in this spot. You look at, at Baylor's offense against Kansas State's defense. Kansas State's defense ain't great. I mean, they are number, let's see, I mean, they're number 10 in defensive success rate. But as far as EPA per pass, number 63, EPA per rush, number 48, like there's holes that you can take advantage of there for Baylor's offense. As far as Baylor's defense, they are number 101 in EPA per pass. Uh, Kansas State, number 20 in that metric on offense. Like there are ways for each team to take advantage of the other one. And as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to take Kansas State here. Like I, I think coming off that massive win, you got to go on the road again. And Kansas State has just quietly been beating the piss out of everybody for four weeks. They are just killing people since Skylar Thompson came back, and this is a massive, massive game in Manhattan. I'm, I'm going to ride the Wildcats. Yeah, the problem is, is I don't think they've been beating any good teams at all. That's my only issue. So, yeah. you're right. They've been beating a bunch of teams, but those teams are Texas Tech, TCU, Kansas, and West Virginia. Congratulations. That's a hell of a run. I think Baylor is closer to Oklahoma State, Iowa State, Oklahoma, and they have L's to all those teams. I think they lose this game. I think Baylor controls the football from start to finish and controls the game from start to finish. I can get down with it. So Baylor plus one for you, Kansas State minus one for me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.